basically having been together pretty much since birth. Uh, Rachel and I have always been a lot like sisters. Uh, that means that I've seen that in a way Rachel's been kind of preparing for this day for a long time. Um, from our grandma making little mini one-of-a-kind wedding dresses for us at three years old to playing pretend Barbie wedding together, all the growing up, you know? <laughs> and now here we are at that wedding with a man who I know loves and supports you so much. Our relationship, man, it's, it's crazy. It's like we, you met Drew, you know, like he knows his sports like nobody does. He's passionate about everything in regards to God and seeing his growth, uh, you know, being a coach, but just honestly being a man of God. You know, I have no doubt, Rachel, like he's, he's real passionate about you, girl. And he, uh, he called me one day and he said, man, I, I want to give her like perfect love. And he's just like, I only do that through Jesus. That's what kind of man you got. Like, you, you've got a man that's going to lay down his life for you, like Christ has laid down his life for all of us. And he's seeking perfect love and he wants to do that with you. You've been waiting for this day for so many years. You have a man next to you who has been so kind and supportive as you've worked your butt off through nursing school, board exams, and the last few years of a really challenging career. And honestly, Drew, I can say that you've been a wonderful addition to our family and a ridiculously positive influence on Rachel. So I love you really, you both so much. To you guys for having such an incredible new chapter to start here soon. I love you and congratulations to both of you, okay? Most gracious God, by the power of your Holy Spirit, pour out the abundance of your blessing upon Rachel and Drew. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a very crown upon their foreheads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their life and finally in their death. And then in your mercy, bring them to that table where you feast forever in your heavenly home. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.